you know, if you think about it, atheism, Islam, and Roman Catholicism, and Hinduism too, have a lot in common. Why do I say that? Because atheists, any real atheist, uh, people who truly follow atheism, uh, as well as adherence to Islam, Roman Catholicism, and Hinduism, all want basically a state-enforced uh, theocracy. Atheists, they want a state-enforced theocracy where atheism is forced by the state. Uh, uh, what do they call, what do they call tra traditional Catholics or whatever? They want a state-enforced theocracy where the pagan, uh, cultic Roman Catholic, you know, church, the pagan cult, it's not a church, but uh, where the Roman Catholic, you know, mystery Babylon, false religion, is enforced by the state. Muslims want a theocracy where uh, their pagan Arabian moon god Allah is forced by the state, enforced by the state. Sorry, and Hindu Hindus, obviously Hindu nationalists, they want. A theocracy where the demonic Hindu gods are forced, uh, where belief in them is enforced by the state. And that's something that is Islam, Hinduism, atheism, and Roman Catholicism all have in common, is they all deny the separation of church and state, they all deny freedom, liberty, that kind of stuff, and they want to enforce their beliefs by the state. And that's why the Bible teaches separation of church and state, and religious freedom, you know, that kind of stuff. So. So I point that out, how atheism has a lot in common with the satanic bloody religions of Hinduism, Roman Catholicism, and Islam. It's very interesting. So that's why I say militant atheism is a danger to freedom and liberty because they want a theocracy with state-enforced atheism. So just thought I'd point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.